Hi, this is Carrie with Oral Health Coaching and NaturalGumption.com. Um, today we have Rumi. Rumi is Christy Funk from Belly Sprout's youngest little baby. And today we're going to do the same thing. We're going to go ahead and look at his teeth, stain his little plaque, and talk about areas that he's missing. Again, um, you're not going to see a lot of big pieces of plaque in there because they do eat so clean. They don't eat a lot of processed foods and uh, refined carbohydrates, so that feeds in with plaque. So again, go ahead and walk up to the camera. Big smile. All right. So they look pretty clean. Um, we'll go ahead and stain him and just kind of talk about the areas. <sighs> stinky breath. Do you brush your tongue? I'm just kidding. <laughs> he doesn't have stinky breath. <laughs> so again, we're going to stain that. He's really excited about the stain stick. We're gonna stain it. Let's get in there. Good job. Oh my goodness, yeah. So cool. I know, right? Maya's in the background saying how cool it is. Kids love these things. And again, they're great because it allows them to scare to, people. To scare people, yeah. Good for Halloween, right? It allows them uh, autonomy so that you don't have to necessarily stand over them and talk about what they're not doing. Kind of get the negative experience out of there. All right, sir, if you would please give me a little rinse. Oh, you have to see it. Show the camera. You might as well show the camera while you can. Come on. Oh, That's some serious <laughs> business. Okay, give it a little rinse if you would please. How about you do that one more time for me, if you would? Okay, let's save it for the rest of it. Let's see. Let's look. Again, you know, just kind of right. Let's see. Go towards the camera just a little bit. Give big teeth. Can we see it? All right, so come on back. So most kids, same thing, you know, he does a, a good enough job on the tops of the teeth, but you see down at the gum line, that's where everything picks up. And I know that the lighting's a little bit off. Come towards me. Come love on me. There you go. I know the lighting's a little bit off, but what you can see right here is lots of plaque, lots of that blue plaque right down at the gum line. So again, that's where cavities typically form. That's where gum disease starts. And that's where we're going to work on getting everything off. So with him, I'm going to actually take the mirror away from him because most kids don't use a mirror when they brush their teeth. I'll turn your little timer on. There you go. And he brushes most the way that most kids brush. Just kind of let you show them how you're brushing. Good job. This is exactly what most kids do. So he's doing a really nice job showing us how most kids brush their teeth. Do you usually spend this long? Does he usually spend this long? Nice thing about this uh, toothbrush, you'll see that it's blinking. It's actually a one minute timer. And so again, it gives them autonomy so that they know that they have to brush for that one minute. Um, and you're not standing over them trying to make sure that they do it as long as they should. Although I really try not to shit on people. You good? Good job. A little rinse. Yeah. Good sound effects and everything. You're a good, uh, good spitter. Good job. Okay. So let's take a look. They're so excited. Why don't you look at the camera when you do that? You can look with the mirror. Go for it. It's your mouth. Show the camera. I haven't even seen yet. How's it look? Pretty good? Let's see. Really bad. So just a little bit, not too much. Pick up with your mirror real quick and see. You see? You see the areas that are still blue? Yeah, a little bit of black. Okay, so what you do again with this great little tool, this is a sulca brush. This is my favorite thing in the whole wide world. This gets really good into the crowding areas and right at the gum line where most kids miss. And you can just kind of trace this along. This isn't something that you necessarily want to give them to use all by themselves for a while. Um, you'll flip it to go to the inside because it's angled. 
the, r the right way. Actually, I had it the wrong way. Turn that way towards the camera. I think. When you get in here, you can get in here. You'll notice that his, uh, you may be able to see that his baby teeth are really white and his adult teeth aren't as white. You kicking me out of there? This is what most kids do. They, they, they use their lip to, to kick you out of the most important places. And again, you can see right here, this is a really good thing. You might be able to see there's, tilt your head down a little bit. Can you see onto this side through the lighting? You can talk, Chrissy. It's okay. I can. Yeah. It's kind of hard because the lighting is... Okay. So you'll see. see there's a lot of plaque kind of right in there. And you can use this tool to really get in these grooves. And you'll notice the stuff that I'm doing isn't even with toothpaste. We're just getting in there. Turn towards me a little bit. And he's missing kind of like a lot of kids. He's missing the whole tongue side of his mouth. And so we're going to focus on there with this one little tool. There's about six different tools that you could use to really get back there. And when we work on Christy's mouth, we're going um, to use that tool. So again, if we're going to use a regular toothbrush, go ahead and swallow. And then turn around real quick. So again, if we want to use a toothbrush to get down there, we want to angle that toothbrush down at the gum line and up towards the gum line. And we always want to make sure that we're brushing the gums. Does that feel a little bit different than what you normally do? What feels different about that? What feels different about it? Can you tell me? Too busy looking? He's too, way too into his mouth right now. It's a great thing. Okay, and then one last thing, because we know that stinky breath comes from our tongue, right? Stick it out. Yeah. You want to make sure that you're getting open real big. You want to make sure that you're getting all the way back there to get all that plaque off. Because even though they eat a really clean... Even though they eat a really clean uh, diet, that bacteria is always building up because it's not about that. All right, so that was uh, oralhealthcoaching.com basics <laughs> with Mayu and Rumi. Um, thanks, for, thanks for stopping by. And again, this is what we do during our oral health coaching session. We uncover all the little mysteries in your mouth and what products to use and how to use them. What do you think? Do they feel better? Okay. Thanks for stopping by. <laughs>